Hello everyone, in this class we will learn how to estimate hemoglobin. The aim of this particular experiment is to estimate hemoglobin by Salis method. And principle of this Salis method is hemoglobin is converted into stable acid hematin by addition of N by 10 HCl. This concentrated solution is diluted with water till its color density matches with that of standard. The apparatus required for this method is Salis comparator, Salis tube which is also called as hemoglobin tube, Salis pipette which is also called as hemoglobin pipette, thin glass, a rod stirrer, N by 10 HCl, distilled water, spirit swab and lancet. The procedure is take a clean and dry Salis tube and place it in the comparator. With the help of dropper add N by 10 HCl up to the mark of 2 grams on the percentage scale. Under aseptic precaution, prick the finger, wipe the first uh, or one or two drops of the blood and then obtain a good sized drop of blood over the finger tip. Then draw the blood up to the mark of 0.2 ml that is 20 cubic millimeter mark in the hemoglobin pipette, avoid any air bubbles if present, discard and repeat the procedure. Dip the pipette immediately in Salis tube containing HCl and gently blow till the blood is expired. Then rinse the pipette twice or thrice in the HCl. Then mix the contents gently by stirring with a glass rod. Place Then place the tube in the comparator and wait for 10 minutes. And during this period, RBC's rupture and hemoglobin liberated reacts with N by 10 HCl to form stable acid hematin. Then go on adding distilled water drop by drop and mix it till the color matches with that of standard tinted glass against the natural source of light. When the color of the solution matches, note down the lower meniscus reading. Then express the hemoglobin content as so many grams per 100 ml of blood or deciliter of blood. So these are the diagrams showing Sally's hemoglobinometer. This is uh, Sally's color comparator with a hemoglobin tube or Sally's tube. So this is a Sally's tube with the markings of uh, uh, 2 to 100 in a percentage and this is hemoglobin pipette. You have to take the N by 10 HCl up to the mark 2 then you have to suck the blood up to the mark of uh, 20 microliter mark. Then you have to add this blood uh, with a uh, HCl, N by 10 HCl. Mix it properly. Then it is going, hemoglobin gets converted into acid hematin which is going to impart color. And uh, that color uh, on adding distilled water has to be matched with the color comparator. So this is the another diagram showing the Sally's uh, uh, hemoglobinometer, uh, Sally's pipette and Sally's tube and this is Sally's color comparator. Then calculation part, oxygen carrying capacity has to be calculated so that will be done hemoglobin in grams into 1.3 will give so many ml per 100 ml of blood that is oxygen carrying capacity. Note that 1 gram of hemoglobin carries 1.34 ml of oxygen and 1 gram of hemoglobin carries 3.34 milligrams of iron. Then the report has to be written like hemoglobin content of my blood is uh, for example, 15 grams per 100 ml or deciliter of blood. Oxygen carrying capacity is equal to hemoglobin in grams into 1.3. That will be so many ml per 100 ml of blood. And iron content of the blood can be calculated. Hemoglobin in grams into 3.34 is equal to so many milligrams per 100 ml of blood. The normal range of hemoglobin at birth is around 23 gram percent at the age of one year it is 12 gram percent in adult male uh, adult male it ranges between 14 to 18 gram percent 
and average is 15.5 gram per cell. In females, it ranges between 12 to 15.5 gram per cell and average is around 14 gram per cell. The hemoglobin is of two types. In adult, mostly it is uh, adult hemoglobin and in the fetus it is fetal hemoglobin. Adult hemoglobin contains four polypeptide chains uh, which are of two alpha and two beta whereas in fetal hemoglobin uh, the, the con it, they contain four polypeptide chains uh, which are of two alpha and two gamma. Adult hemoglobin at birth uh, there will be 20% of the total hemoglobin is uh, adult hemoglobin and uh, at birth 80% of the total hemoglobin is uh, fetal hemoglobin. Lifespan of adult hemoglobin is 120 days whereas lifespan of fetal hemoglobin is 2 weeks and functionally the adult hemoglobin differs. It has a normal affinity towards oxygen whereas fetal hemoglobin has a higher affinity towards oxygen. Note that high value in newborn is due to the increased RBC count. The newborn has been living in a state of relative hypoxia which is a very potent stimulus for the secretion of erythropoietin. The value decreases gradually and reaches the adult value by 16 to 18 months. Some of the questions which are asked, can strong acids such as nitric uh, sulfuric acid concentrated HCl or alkalase be used as in place of uh, desinormal hydrochloric acid. The strong acids which are very strong oxidizing agents and alkalase will cause disruption of hemoglobin and thus cannot be used. Only N by 10 HCl is used because standardization has been done for acid hematin. Can tap water be used for diluting and color matching? No. It cannot be used because uh, its soil may cause turbidity and may will interfere with color matching. Then, can N by 10 HCl be used instead of distilled water for dilating uh, and color matching? Yes, it can be used because it being transparent, it cannot further deepen the color once all the hemoglobin has been converted into acid hematin. What will happen if quantity of N by 10 HCl is changed? The minimum quantity should be present so as to form complete acid hematin. What are the disadvantages of Salis method? One is the method estimates only oxyhemoglobin and reduced hemoglobin and other forms of carboxyhemoglobin and methemoglobin are not estimated. Second one is in long term the standard correlation on the hemoglobin matter may fade and become lighter. This will lead to a wrong result. What are the other methods of hemoglobin estimation? There can be spectrophotometric methods like sine hem, methemoglobin method, oxyhemoglobin method, held and carboxy hemoglobin method, who's alkaline hematin method. And uh, there can be Talquist method and copper sulfate falling drop method. Name the some of the derivatives of the hemoglobin. Some of the derivatives of hemoglobin are oxyhemoglobin, reduced hemoglobin that is deoxygenated hemoglobin, carbaminohemoglobin, carboxyhemoglobin, methemoglobin, sulfhemoglobin and synmethemoglobin. Why is it required to allow the solution to stand for 10 minutes before dilution? This is the time required for a complete hemolysis of RBC and maximum conversion of hemoglobin in blood to form acid hematin. How heme is synthesized from the body? Heme portion of hemoglobin synthesized from glycine and succinyl coa. Heme is synthesized by the cells of erythroid series in red bone marrow. What are the functions of hemoglobin? It carries oxygen, carries carbon dioxide, it is important for homeostasis, uh, for uh, regulation of the pH and it preserves iron in the body. Name the physiological and pathological variations in hemoglobin uh, content in RBC. Some of the physiological causes are age. Hemoglobin is more in newborn and it is higher in males. 
uh, in high altitudes it is high hemoglobin is increased at high altitudes as hypoxia stimulates erythropoiesis which in turn increases hemoglobin concentration uh, hemoglobin count then exercise hemoglobin content increases after exercise some of the pathological causes are hemoglobin content is increased in polycythemia and decreased in all the types of anemia what would happen if hemoglobin were present freely in the plasma instead of red cells normally only very small amount is present in the plasma that is about 3 mg per deciliter and most of it being confined to the red cells if it were present in the plasma it would increase the viscosity thus uh, by it would have increased the blood pressure and the osmotic pressure of the blood i mean which may affect the fluid exchanges and it would also be excreted in the urine besides being taken up and rapidly destroyed in the reticular endothelial system so this is in brief about estimation of hemoglobin thank you